guys, it's Googly again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Siberia ROM for the OnePlus 6D, so stay tuned for that. So guys, Siberia ROM. This is actually my first radio with this ROM because I've seen this around for a while but this is first time I'm actually using the ROM on a personal level. So let's get started. As you just saw, I mean display is working pretty well, no issues there. This is the launcher launcher which uh, well depending on who you are and what you want to do, this may or may not be good for you. So I've been using this one. Let's get to the settings menu. In the about phone page you can see that it is version 9.0 Siberia Android 9.0 version is 2.5 May 5 security patches that is the latest one available and the kernel is 49176 which I believe is the latest one as of now as in a status is enforcing for anyone who wants to click into that that's about it in the about phone page now as you might have heard Siberia ROM has a I mean it's a very interesting ROM let's say that first of all what you see here is a custom theme which is called Siberia it's not black it's not AMOLED it's uh, kind of a different hue of things kind of reminds me of those candy colors which are available i just disable the nightlight so that you can see the colors of it i mean it's an interesting theme right? let's get to the stuff now first of all everything is working as you can see vld is working i was able to use data calls and all that it's really really cool there has been one issue which i found with this one which i will talk to you more about in the stability section but before that let's get to the features now first of all all the features are inside the siberia settings in there you will find system settings in which general tweaks so all of these sections are available prevent accident wake up Screen of animation can be customized, Pi's recent style can be enabled or disabled, corner options are available to be customized and also screen stabilization is available which is an amazing feature. Animation options are available which is AOKP animation, list view and toast animation can also be customized. Button customization is available so you can have act, uh, haptic feedback on the action or on the press of a button which is pretty cool. I normally keep it into the press button which is more useful for me so I'll just keep that. A hardware case can be disabled also and also power menu can be customized, you can have all of these options. Volume rocker wake is available music control is available and also keyboard cursor control which is really cool it also has an option to set the custom fingerprint scanner image which is a feature which is found in a lot of other ROMs which I really like privacy guard is available if you want to micromanage permissions on applications which does work out break lock and alarm blocker is available now this is very cool uh, it's called standby apps where I mean you can select which application you want to be in standby there is a lot of things you can do with this one I believe this is to improve battle life and the standby drain in that regard because if application is running in the background, it will just drain the battery without any use for use. Aggressive battery options are available which you can enable which uh, as you can see I have kept enabled. Sound settings are available where you can in enable increased ringtones, uh, launch music application, volume steps can be customized from here and also audio panel options are available where you can enable all the uh, all of these sliders enabled. Dialer options are available where you can have the uh, flashlight flash when there is an incoming call, please don't do that. In call vibration options are available. Other options include a home button answer. If it had a hardware home button volume key answer is also available if you want to use that and the panel option you do have status bar control so in the status bar items you can customize what all appears in the status bar you can also enable the siberia logo it will come up on the top left corner so that's pretty cool other than that ticker can be enabled but on not display ticker doesn't really work clock settings are available where you have a npm indicator clock styles are available brightness control by sliding across the status bar network traffic indicator is available you can customize the auto hide option also vlt icon can be enabled it's not really a vlt icon more of an hd icon on the status bar which is does its job so it's pretty cool navigation bar is available you can customize that it does have smart navigation bar with pulse and fling settings which does work out personally i don't use nav bar i use gesture navigation which works really well on this one you can also enable nav bar and you can just use that as normal and also layout settings can be customized in here so it's pretty cool then notification options you can customize smart bar quick pull down is all available head some options are available which you can customize which is really nice to have notification light can be enabled if you have a notification LED. 60 doesn't have that opacity of this notification shade is available which you can customize which which works out really well brightness center can be enabled and you can just disable that if you don't want that you can have it on the bottom you can vibrate on touch for the quick setting panel edit icon can be enabled or disabled and also running service icon can also be enabled or disabled which is pretty cool as you can see these are all the uh, icons which i have enabled you can customize that it does a lot of options there also you can customize the uh, setting rows columns and all that from here labels can also be customized from here which does work out really well and Animation styles for the quick setting panel can also be customized and also uh, custom header.
shortcut can also be enabled. Now in the lock screen options, you do have a few options here. So lock screen shortcuts can be enabled or disabled. Fingerprint now indication vibration. Error vibration is also available, which is pretty cool. Uh, media cover art can be enabled. Media cover art filter is available. Charging info. Visualizer can be enabled or disabled. Now in the weather option, it's not just the Zen option, which is really cool. I really like that. It actually shows all this stuff like uh, the uh, present location, the weather and everything in the second line. Kind of like that a lot because it also shows up in the ambient display which is really cool I really like that and the colored icon is also available in the ambient display something which I really really like from no gadgets of course you can disable all of that and just uh, be having a plain old uh, simple thing weather services is provided by Omnijaws you will have to uh, select that icon pack these are all the icons with which it comes so you can customize that not new is uh, that one okay I mean it works now you can outright disable the clock widget if you don't want that uh, style can be customized Zen can be disabled the sizes can be customized and it does have a lot of funds you can customize with and it does work out really well now in the battery settings you can change the battery style icon i have selected q style and it does work out battery percentage can be enabled if you want it inside the icon outside the icon uh, on the left or right you can customize that as you want now in the gesture option swipe to screenshot is available and it is a fixed one if you swipe with three fingers it's not going to scroll the screen which is really cool edge gestures are available if you are coming from an miui rom navigation gestures are available if you want to use the one plus navigation gestures with the haptic feedback duration customization which does work out really well pie controls are also available if you prefer that double tap to sleep on the status bar and on the lock screen is available which is really cool to have now you have information about the siberia team and uh, you can see what all who are all the team members who's a lead developer all of that is available and the maintainers can also be seen here and that is it in the siberia settings where almost all the extra features reside so that's pretty cool now apart from that everything else is basically the same as any other rom let's go into that in the display options you do have live display uh, rather than night display i like live display because you it does give you a little bit more options there color profiles are available where you can customize stuff here i like it all of that is available display modes are available without that brightness mode which will brighten up everything in the automatic mode you can select the uh, temperature of the day and night one which does work out really well color calibration is also available if you want something to uh, mess around with and also hue and saturation can also be custom if you want a little bit more vibrancy now apart from that font size display size can be customized ambient display options are available and it does have music ticker uh, new notification all of that is available show up and charging which is always on and also always on is available now it does have the force app to ignore not space option but uh, i have seen that it doesn't really work i'm pretty bummed out with that because there is no uh, custom rom which actually has it working right now i was hoping this one would but no it's not working now it does have fun manager you can customize that it does have oswald which is one of my favorite funds it does have a lot of funds inbuilt to it now this is what i was talking about this is the system ui theme i'm using siberia which is this uh grayish blue uh background with a very light pastel-ish then kind of an accent you cannot change the accent color on this one but it is what it is it does work out i mean it is a beautiful theme but if you want a the black or dark theme it is available you don't have to fret over that so no worries there now quick setting tile style is available where you can customize that i mean it doesn't have the audio option which is my favorite one but uh, I, I guess i can live with this one so it's pretty cool switch appearance can also be changed according to this one you can have material design 2 or one plus option which is this one dashboard condition and suggestions can be enabled or disabled as you like it sim 1 sim 2 options are available where you can customize the ringtone for each and every sim card so this really works then the system options you do have gesture option where you have double, uh, double tap the power button to jump to camera which does work out swipe up on home screen if you want to use the nav bar it does available with the pixel pill style then the device gestures you do have a uh, spin off gestures available which does work out i'm not really uh, having any issues with it but do mind that these new custom roms for example if you uh, do circle to uh, open up camera you cannot just put in your fingerprint you will have to type in your uh, pin code and you will have to press the tick button to get into the rom so yeah it's not fully practical yet so i'm not really sure if there is a fix for that apart from that i mean display handmade pocket mode and pickup sensor can be enabled from here otg support can be enabled from here if you want to use that vibration strength can be customized from here which is also really cool to have slider options are also available in this option now it does also have an updater which does work out really well i've heard from people that the updater in this one is really slick and it does work out really well but this rom does get updated weekly so it's pretty nice to see and that is it in the feature section as you can see it's a loaded rom it does have enough features to keep you entertained and personally i have always said that havoc is my favorite rom for features this one actually has almost all the features which i use on a daily basis on havoc and it just works for example one one more thing which i do want to mention is that the phone application has 
uh, automatic call recording which I use all the time, proximity speakerphone which I use all the time and also full screen photos which I use all the time. So it just works and I really like it. It has a lot of the features which I really really want on this device with this one. So it doesn't have as much features as Havoc but it has pretty damn good amount of them and it is all useful so I'm really happy with that. Now the battery life of the ROM. Battery life of the ROM is uh well let's just say it's not the most impressive feature about this ROM. I've been getting about 10% 10 to 12% of active drain. Idle drain slightly higher about 1.3 1.5 four percentage which on this device I mean all the other ROMs I'm getting sub one percentage or one percentage of active idle drain and uh, about ten percent of active drain so yeah a little less impressive but I mean that is still with all the battery saving features enabled from the settings menu so not really sure what I can do about it I haven't tried out a custom kernel on this one which I am planning on doing which if you want to know about that do let me know I will try and give you guys an insight onto that afterward. Now the performance of the ROM. Well, the performance of the ROM, I couldn't run the N2D benchmark score. Every time it would get stuck at 17%. This is the uh, benchmark from my previous ROM. So don't go away by that. So yeah, benchmark was not able to run on this ROM. It would always get stuck at 17%. I tried reboot. I tried to reinstall N2D benchmark. I tried to reinstall the uh, 3D app mark application. Yeah, nothing but it always got stuck at 17%. So I gave it up. So yeah. That's basically it. Personally though, it works as good as any other ROM. I'm gonna guess it's about 290,000 for the performance score which is normal for a Pi ROM on this device. Now the stability of the ROM. The stability of the ROM is pretty decent. I don't really have any issues with it. One thing which I do want to mention is that the ROM is not fully CTS certified. It will fail CTS authentication when you first boot it up. You will have to use a magic module which I'm using, uh, the hide prop tweak. Then it will pass the CTS scans and then you will be able to use banking application or any other application like the uh, my smartphone application. All of that will work after that not before it so just keep that in mind it is one of the things which you will need to do if you're planning on using this ROM. One other thing is that the uh, caller application for some time the phone services for some reason crashed on me when the phone was just rebooted I didn't do the first login when the phone was ringing I mean it was just ringing I couldn't get any interface to answer or decline the call that was another thing which I noticed with this ROM which is not the most ideal thing so yeah these are things which I have noticed with that. Apart from that though I didn't have much issues with with the usability of the ROM stability wise it's pretty okay. So now the camera. The camera with which it comes is the OnePlus camera application which works decently well. I have taken a few photographs with it but do mind that I have seen people complaining that sometimes slow motion doesn't work sometimes something doesn't work. The thing about the OnePlus camera is that it will actually use the secondary camera which is available in this device for the portrait mode so that is one of the biggest advantage of using it. Other than that just use Gcam. I've been using Gcam with for most of my usage and it works really well it has slow motion working uh, it does have a comparable pro mode or a comparable portrait mode a lot of things are working with that so i'm really happy with it camera wise it's a pretty good package now the aesthetics of the rom as i've already said aesthetically it's a pretty unique package now something which i have to compare with is the bootleggers uh, Shizu Fight uh, theme package which is available. That is what I can uh, come up with when thinking about this one because there is a lot of that in there but this one has one extra feature which actually does work really well. So yeah, I mean the Siberia theme is a very mellow kind of a theme. I like pastelized colors which is not uh, like a neon in your face color. Uh, I really like that and it is perfectly uh, suited to my aesthetic choices so I really like it. Not really sure if you would but uh, hey I just like it because it, is, it seems pretty okay for me. Okay before I forget something which I do want to mention is that there are a lot of people who have been having issues with the fingerprint scanner staying on the system. That usually happens whenever the system UI is reset so let's uh, try and reset the system UI. Okay now there is no fingerprint scanner. If you enable that now if you try and put on the pin the fingerprint scanner comes up. If you try and unlock it with the fingerprint scanner, it stays on the screen. The way you can get over it is, okay, now it's not here. If you try it opening it up and if you open up the fingerprint, it's gonna stay there. The way you overcome that maybe is you open this pin, keypad, close it again, 
and then you open up the phone with your fingerprint that way it won't have happened so just throwing it out there for people who are having trouble with it i had this trouble so this is the way i found it to be working now the overall experience of the rom the overall experience of the rom has been pretty decent i actually like this rom as a daily driver maybe more than havoc yes havoc has a few unique features the lock screen customization in havoc is pretty awesome but i actually like the lock screen options in this one because this is the one which i remember being very very fond of in no guide because the weather icon and all that will still stay with the color on the ambient display and i really liked it it's a very very interesting look of it it's just amazing i really like it yeah i could i could use this as my daily driver all day long and i will still recommend this as a daily driver for most people the only thing which is killing me is the battle life the battle life is not very good let me show you guys the boot animation which is actually pretty damn good here is the boot animation for the Siberia ROM and I mean it's amazing I, I like the boot animation it's a very elegant minimal symmetrical I mean all the good adjectives which I can add to it so yeah I like it and it goes to Siberia so guys there you have it that is the Siberia ROM for the OnePlus 6T. One of the amazing ROMs available for our device now. I mean it's a very very interesting ROM because it will work for most people. It's just great so I'm really happy with that. So yeah I guess I'm actually excited about the ROM then. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.